Well, hi everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I wanted to post this video because here it's going to be 90 degrees today, which is pretty high for succulents. So it's time to get them protected. And I wanted to share with you guys what we did this year. And um, hopefully it'll give you some ideas uh, of what you can do because it's so important. It just takes one day for your plants to fry. So you want to definitely be proactive and protect them before it actually gets scorching and they do um, get damaged to the point where, you know, you lose your beautiful plants. So here we go. As you're seeing, we went ahead and made this kind of like a structure, a screen structure with PVC pipe. Uh, we went ahead and painted it. Um, I wasn't thrilled about having PVC in my garden, but it is uh, the best uh, weatherproof and economical way that we could think of, of doing something like this where we could actually uh, put it up and then take it down in the winter if we wanted to. <clears throat> and um, we needed it to be strong enough that it would support some type of a uh, curtain um, that we would need to put on because since the sun shifts in my yard so drastically, I have a small yard, so the house, we have to play with the sunset and the house. Here you're seeing what we've done in the past, sun sails. Um, hey, not pretty, but efficient. If you have no other option, this is a good way to protect them. But in 2018, I had to come out here after seeing my plants were frying and emergency, just grab whatever I had at hand. And I, I had some uh, weed fabric and I just made a kind of like a tent. I sewed a tent structure with rope and just put that up and this year we went ahead and did this and I think it's a lot more uh, attractive and efficient if it doesn't have the curtain you can't even really um, at a certain eye level it just looks like a just it blends with a with uh, the fence so say that you have a gathering at night or whatever just you take off the curtain um, that uh, that you need to put in the front, the cover, the protection. Um, we do have this arbor, but the arbor, again, it, it only covers certain um, areas of this strip of garden because of the sun patterns. And um, on the left-hand side of this garden is where we have the brunt of the scorching heat. And although I did move most of my echeverias and my plants that I know are prone to um, get damaged with the heat to the middle section, um, still um, I put some on this end, some uh, cacti and plants that are more hardy, but still it gets too hot and it, it helps them to put this type of a protection because it is definitely something that helps um, shield them from the dangerous or, or you know, uh, harmful UV rays. Here you're seeing we use three quarter inch uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe. And the Schedule 40 is a PVC that's a little bit thicker. And that's kind of what you want. You don't want a really wobbly structure. And the, the regular PVC, that three quarter inch is, is kind of, it bends too easy. And you want it to be have a little bit of body and structure. We use just fittings. Um, corner fittings or angles or T-angles for the feet and just regular um, um, angles for the corners, um, three three prong. And here you're seeing it looks like if we used, we just couldn't find the ones that didn't have a screw so we just went ahead and used an adapter. But you don't need to, you can actually glue this structure with a PVC glue. Um, here you're seeing the clamps that we used. We use uh, plastic clamps, but just make sure that they fit over your pipe, that they're three quarter inch. And uh, make sure to use uh, galvanized or deck screws so that they're um, weatherproof and they don't rust and, you know, and fall. So yeah, here you're seeing, we went ahead and sewed some of the extra fabric that we had left over on this side because this is the brutal side, but Guess what? I mean, we need to protect it. it. It has to become like a little greenhouse, actually, because the sun, again, it will peek through after 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. And um, yeah, 
uh, affect my garden so this is what I use this sunscreen fabric and I use those little metal uh, not metal but plastic clamps I got those at Home Depot and see you're seeing it says it protects 87% of UV rays and it cools it up to 15 degrees um, but you can definitely feel um, the difference when you're uh, when you peer into the enclosure of um, how it protects against the hot sun so I'm very happy with that here you're seeing a view from far away and as you see it doesn't look really obstructive or um, you know bad it looks it looks good I mean as far as I would prefer not to have it but this is very necessary in the summer it's part of uh, being a, a plant lover that you need to change with the seasons and adapt and this is what we're doing here so here you're seeing the actual fabric um, that it's the same type of fabric that we use for the top this is just a curtain and I clamped it on with those plastic clamps and that way it's uh, very um, temporary you can remove it you can just roll it to the side and put it away and expose your beautiful garden at night or during the day when it's scorching hot just leave it up like this and it looks like a little greenhouse I kind of like it I'm very pleased with how it turned out all right everyone I hope this gives you some ideas and that you stay cool thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing and welcome to all the new subscribers I will talk to you later bye